Hi everyone, Steve Dayok here. I'd like to briefly demonstrate how to identify false information spread by likely operatives in the truth movement. In this case, I'm going to look at the claim that the Shanksville gash had been in the ground for many years and that all the perpetrators did to fake the Flight 93 crash site was to detonate an explosive in the middle of it. Despite having been proved false many years ago, this rumor is still repeated. I think even Rebecca Roth was spreading it around just recently. You can see it gracing the top of the Lizard King, David Icke's site, and you can find it on YouTube, and you can still find the article from Christopher Bolin entitled The Shanksville Deception of 9-11, an ironic name considering he bent over backwards to deceive himself. All it takes is to study the image from 1994 and compare it to the images from 2001 and it becomes obvious to a barnyard animal that the gashes are different in size, shape, and orientation. In his article he's telling us that this gash here was pre-existing. He then takes us to the United States Geological Survey photo from 1994 on which he has overlaid two images from the Flight 93 crash from 2001 and then rotated them so that they run roughly the same direction from the one in the survey photo. And he enlarged them to about three times their actual size. All of this manipulation is proof of deliberate deception on Boleyn's part. If he went to such an effort to manipulate the 2001 images so that they would more closely resemble the 1994 image, then he certainly knew that the gashes were not one and the same. It was Samuel Clemens who wrote that it is easier to fool someone than it is to convince them that they have been fooled. And this is certainly true when it comes to this rumor. So let's go over it again. I used the time slider to bring up the United States Geological Survey image. Now let's grab an image from 2001 where we can see the road and the houses and then resize and rotate that image so that it matches with the houses and the road from 1994. And then we can use the clever little transparency tools and overlay tools that Google provides us. So, we can see, clear as day, that the gash caused by Flight 93 from 2001, here, is in a completely different location, position, and size from the one from the 1994 survey photo. The results of this rumor, the probable goals, are 1. to cover up for the real means used to create the gash, and 2. to discredit anyone who repeats it. Alas, it is simply not true, but cheer up, truthers, it's not a total loss. At least you can use this disinformation to identify the faux truthers, liars, and propagandists who keep repeating it. Take Christopher Bull in. Please.